how would they remember me when I die? You know, a lot of times I stop and wonder, because I'm the great illustrious Father R. Tony Ricard of the Archdiocese of New Orleans, what will folk be saying when they come to my funeral? Now, I know it's going to be a big event because they're going to have to reserve the Superdome because I am the one, the holy who that, we all know that. But the question is, at the funeral, what would they be doing to remember me? You know, I think about it a lot and I wonder, you know, on my tombstone, what are they going to put? For me, all you really need to do is put, he loved the Lord and the Lord loved him. And of course you have to put, he was his mama's baby. You see, Ash Wednesday is the day that we stop to remember the fact that the day is coming when we all are going to die. That's why they mark us with those ashes on our foreheads to remind us that we are dust and unto dust we shall return. In fact, those are the words that most of the priests are going to use. Some may even say, turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. How will they remember you when you die? Are they going to remember you as a man or woman of faith? Are they going to remember you for the love you share with your family? Are they going to remember you for the way you treat others? During the season of Lent, we're called to reflect on the fact that we are going to die. But even more, to reflect on how we live our lives today in preparation for that death. We're called to spend time in prayer and fasting and abstinence and almsgiving, taking care of both the mind, the body, the spirit, and making sure we take care of others. You see, it's okay for you to die today, to die from the ways of this world so that you might live forever. As we reflect throughout this entire season, ask yourself, how will they remember me when I die? But even more, when you get to the judgment seat, will God remember you?